Call to order. This is the sixth regular meeting of the 2011-2012 Common Council and our city clerk. Done that again. City clerk Sue Richards will give us the quote of the evening. City clerk, please. Yay. Uh, thank you, Mayor. To make mistakes is human. To stumble is commonplace. To be able to laugh at yourself is maturity. Very fitting. Thank you. Roll call, please. Belt. Here. Boren. Here. Carlson. Here. Decker. Here. Hammond. Here. Hannah. Here. Heideman. Here. Koth. Here. Kittleson. Here. Matichuk. Here. Rinfleisch. Here. Raisler. Excused. Samson. Here. Van Akron. Here. Vanderweel. Here. And Versi. Here. 15 present. We have a quorum now if we can all join Vice President Decker in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Jeremy. Looking for approval of the minutes of the former Common Council meeting. President Rinfleisch. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that we approve the previous minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second to approve the minutes under discussion. There is no discussion. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Confirmation of mayor's appointments. Attorney McLean. Honorable members of the council, hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Todd Wolf to be considered for appointment to the Sheboygan Transit Commission to fill the unexpired term of Brian Vandusky, whose term expires 4-30-2013, signed by the mayor. Okay, that has lied over, so we are looking for a motion to confirm. President Rinfleisch. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to confirm Todd Wolf. Second. We have a motion and a second to confirm Todd Wolf to the Sheboygan Transit Commission under discussion. If there's no discussion. Roll call, please. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichuk? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Samson. Aye. Van Akron. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Versi. Aye. And Belt. Aye. Fifteen ayes. <clears throat> Motion carries. Public forum. Okay. Uh, this evening we have two. First of all would be Joanne Scribner. Joanne, if you could come up to the mic, please. Joanne, can I have your home address? 3 Seneca Trio, Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Okay, and you will have five minutes. Two weeks ago, it was Joanne unplugged. This time, it's Joanne plugged in. Um, all right. Um, first of all, thank you, Ms. Mr. Bob Ryan, Mayor Ryan, and Sheboygan Common Council for the opportunity to speak here tonight again. My speech tonight is a continuation from my speech two weeks ago when I was talking about the smoking room issue here in Sheboygan. Sometimes when I'm out walking, I do my civic duty and pick up scraps of paper and other litter. So recently, I've been picking up empty cigarette packs. I mentioned two weeks ago that each pack of cigarettes contains a warning from the Surgeon General. These Marlboro packs have a warning that say, quitting smoking now greatly reduces serious risks to your health. This Newport pack says, the Surgeon General warning says, uh, cigarette smoke contains carbon monoxide. This Camel pack is my favorite pack. Uh, uh, before that, I, I did have a Doral, Doral, Doral pack of cigarettes, too, an empty pack, and that said that the Surgeon General's warning on that one was to pregnant women, smoking nicotine can be harmful to your unborn baby. Uh, the reason this camel pack is my favorite, and here I will digress a little bit, because I found it on Marquette Street in Minneapolis this past weekend. I love the Twin Cities of St. Paul, Minneapolis for several reasons. 
One reason is that I attended Bethel College in St. Paul from 1967 to 1969. Bethel College was then located on 1480 Snelling Avenue, right across from the Minnesota State Fairgrounds. In 1967, the Fauché Tower was the highest building in Minneapolis. Not anymore. Today, it's dwarfed by the IDS building and other skyscrapers in Minneapolis. Uh, back to Bethel, I did have a wonderful two years at Bethel College, now it's Bethel University, located in Arden Hills, a suburb of, of St. Paul, and then I did, did get in the mail today my 40-year reunion coming up in September of this year. Another reason I love the Twin Cities is because my brother and his wife and two sons lived there for some 20 or so years. My oldest nephew still lives there. But back to the camel pack that I found on Marquette Street in Minneapolis this past weekend. Um, the Surgeon uh, General, again, the warning says that this smoke, cigarette smoke contains carbon monoxide. Um, I realize that cigarettes are not the only cause of lung cancer or other types of cancer, but let me tell you about a story about my cousin's wife. Bonnie was a lady that was the life of the party. She smiled, she joked a lot, she was intelligent, and she could talk your ear off about just about any subject. She and Bob had three kids, and they are all now wonderful young adults. But Bonnie smoked a lot of cigarettes. She was one of those people that my parents would ask to smoke outside when she and Bob would come over for Thanksgiving or Christmas. Bonnie's family and friends threw her a wonderful 50th birthday party at Bruce's, which is now Dutch's, between Elkhart Lake and the Schwinn County Marsh. I have the pictures of Bonnie's party right here in this photo album, White Balloons and All. My cousin's wife. Unfortunately, a few years later, our family attended Bonnie's funeral at the Suchan Funeral Home in Plymouth. She died of cancer at a far too young age. She smoked a lot of cigarettes. And as Bob, my cousin, said at her funeral, Godspeed, Bonnie. So to the uh, tavern owners of Sheboygan, Please do the right thing. Be in compliance with the smoking ban in all public places, including restaurants and bars, and make sure your smoking rooms have plenty of open air. 50% open air would be really, really, really good. And to the Sheboygan Common Council, I'm not sure if you've really made a decision on, on, on the smoking ban ordinance as far as smoking rooms here in Sheboygan, but do the right thing. Make sure Excuse me, that Joanne, the taverns. Excuse me, like your additional minute. Yes, please. Second. Second. Go ahead. Make sure that the taverns in Sheboygan do comply and have plenty of open air. I think 50% open air would be really, really good, and maybe more than what is needed according to Wisconsin statute uh, of the smoking rooms. Um, but do the right thing. Cigarettes still travel in packs, and they still kill. Thank you, Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. Alderman Hanna, you wanted to Yeah, just, just a quick comment. Um, a document that will be coming from uh, law and licensing uh, will be recommending that the city of Sheboygan's smoking ordinance uh, be consistent with the state of Wisconsin. Um, so we appreciate the, the spirit that, that Joanne brings forward and uh, we think it's in the best interest of everybody that we comply with the state um, so there's consistency across every city in Wisconsin. Thank you, Alderman Hanna, and thank you again, Joanne. Next. Uh, next would be Dick Susha. <clears throat> Dick, can I have your home address, please? 15 North Point Drive, Sheboygan. And you will have five minutes, sir. Thank you, Mayor, Alderman. Unlike 
previous years, the Sheboygan County Taxpayers uh, Alliance will not present our annual proposals for action this year. This year, our number one and our only proposal is the hiring of a qualified, nationally solicited full-time city administrator. The alderman must address this critical issue for the future success and the financial stability of Sheboygan. It's in everybody's best interest. Since October 2007, SCTA has been actively involved in educating ourselves and informing the citizens of Sheboygan regarding a citizen administrator form of government. We've held forums, sponsored speakers, and distributed detailed informational pieces. We have con conducted in the past the survey whose results strongly supported the hiring of a city administrator. <coughs> the city appointed an independent government structure committee composed of aldermen and citizens and charged them with the responsibility of conducting a thorough, unbiased review of Sheboygan's government. Their findings with a unanimous vote, I might add, was the same as the SCTA recommendation. Hire a city administrator for greater efficiencies and management of our tax levy. Sheboygan County has an excellent format with Administrator Adam Payne and a part-time county board chairman. The county board is still in charge of controlling the budget and spending the dollars. We hope the city of Sheboygan can learn from their success and implement the city administrator form of government for the city. The city needs the expertise of administrator. However, SCTA, being the financial watchdog for our citizens, believes our city, our size city, does not need a full-time mayor and a full-time city administrator. <coughs> Therefore, we recommend a part-time mayor and a full-time administrator. We realize that changing the mayor to a part-time would require a referendum because it's a change in government. Just hiring an administrator does not require a referendum. For the newer aldermen here this evening, don't be tempted to again study this issue. It has been studied, debated, referred, and lately buried. This administrator issue needs a resolution to be passed before it gets mixed up with the next mayoral election. A new resolution can be presented in two weeks, sent to the Committee of the Whole for discussion, sent back to the Council, and passed. Then, if necessary, have a referendum ready for the April 2012 ballot, which asks voters full-time or part-time mayor. Candidates for mayor can then run for office knowing the hours as well as the compensation. After months of study, the Government Structure Committee, as well as the Greater Sheboygan Committee, plus our survey, shows the citizens approve of this change. Now it's up to you as their representatives to finally make this change and follow your constituents' wishes. And as a postscript, I'm not going to sing, but I'm going to wish my wife a happy anniversary. Today is our 47th anniversary. Happy anniversary, Donna. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dick. Thank you, former Mayor Susha. Um, as a full-time mayor of this city from, I believe it was uh, 12 years from 1973 to 1985, we greatly appreciate your comments. Uh, this did not get buried, the city administrator. It came to the council as a vote and was voted down not to fund the position. So just so we can clarify that. Thank you. Next. 
Oh, we're done with public forum. Okay. okay. Mayor's comments. <clears throat> A couple of things. Um, I had the privilege of attending the Great Lakes and St. Lawrence Cities Initiative in Niagara Falls, Ontario this past week. And at that meeting, uh, the City of Sheboygan was awarded the Weggy Small City Sustainability Best Practices Award. Uh, this award came with a, unfortunately, no pieces of glass I could display. I was looking forward to coming home with a big chunk of glass. Instead, they just gave us a big pat on the back in a $5,000 check. Um, which they didn't even give me the ceremonial check, just a regular old little check. <laughs> but uh, I have to congratulate uh, Dale Dorr and the staff at our wastewater treatment plant because it was because of them that we received the award as being the, having the best sustainability practices of any city on the Great Lakes. Hmm. So I would like to, uh, I planned on making more of this deal tonight, but I couldn't exactly show a little check and I couldn't present Dale with a big chunk of glass. <laughs> But it goes to show you the work that we've done, along with Bill Bittner uh, in charge of uh, the wastewater facility, Dale being the superintendent of the wastewater facility, that out of all the cities on the Great Lakes and a lot of them much larger than ours, we received the award this year. So I'd like to congratulate Dale and the staff at the wastewater facility. And I would like to invite you and your staff out for a lunch one day soon, as soon as we can work it into all our schedules. I don't know who's going to run the place, but you're the superintendent. You figure that out. So congratulations, Dale. Jim? Thank you, Mayor. Uh, next Tuesday, the public works meeting is going to be held out at Dale's plant. <clears throat> and after the plant, the, at least the public works committee is going to take a tour. And we're particularly interested in the, uh, the uh, generation of electricity from the, from the gases. And uh, maybe we would have to post it as a, as, a, as a meeting, Sue, but I'd like to invite any of the other older persons. We meet Tuesday night, this coming Tuesday night at 5.30. Uh, it looks from the, uh, from the documents referred tonight that our meeting itself will not be very long. So if any of the other older persons would like to come out uh, and take part in the tour, you're certainly welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Boren. And once again, congratulations to Dale Dorr and the entire staff at the wastewater treatment plant. <coughs> um, I don't believe I have that much more for this evening. Uh, we are uh, glad to announce that from July 3rd to July 6th, we will have a delegation coming in from our sister city of Essling in Germany. Uh, we will be having one of their uh, mayors, one of their burgermeisters, uh, Dr. Marcus Robb, leading up the delegation, along with uh, Dr. Carl Eberhard Klop Kloproth, who is the, uh, the head of their local uh, CDU, which is their Christian Democratic Union, one of their political parties. Uh, Jutta Farian and Pauline Heil, who everybody knows here, they have been back and forth between uh, Sheboygan a lot of times, along with, uh, along with many other of their uh, 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 residents are coming here. We have eight in, eight in total. Uh, I'd like to invite the uh, Common Council. Uh, we will have a, a reception dinner. July 3rd at 6 o'clock p.m. at the now Latitude 43 restaurant, formerly the Seabird. July 4th, we're going to have a traditional brat fry at the uh, Deland uh, Community Center following the parade, immediately following the parade. So if you can plan on after the parade, coming down and meeting everybody. And July 5th, uh, we are having an early uh, Common Council meeting because they are leaving the morning of July 6th. And we, after the Common Council meeting, we're going to have a farewell dinner at the Highland House on the second floor. So. If if all aldermen can attend uh, part or all of those, we greatly appreciate it uh, to show them their, our appreciation for them being our sister city. And I believe that is about all I have this evening. Uh, you all have the sign up for the 4th of July parade. We can get as many participants in that as possible. We'll even feed you afterwards. So, you know, a little incentive to come to the parade. Okay, that's all I have for mayor's announcements. The consent agenda, President Rinflesh. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that all report of officers be accepted and placed on file, all report of committees be accepted and adopted, and all resolutions be put upon their passage. Second. We have a motion and a second under discussion. Alderman Hanna, did you buzz in? Is this an old light? That's me. Alderman Hammond, I have you over here. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> please. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I had asked that we pull 618, please. Okay, number 618, Dean. An RC by Public Works recommending authorizing 
the appropriate city officials to enter into contract with Quash's construction for the construction of new facilities at Cleveland Veterans and Optimus Park. You'd like to pull that for a separate vote? Yes, please. Okay, do we have a second on that? Second. Okay, we'll pull that for a second for a separate vote. So we are looking at uh, 6 1 through 6 17 and 6 19. Any further comment? Alderman Bourne? Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I'd also like to pull forward uh, 6 10, uh, document number 610. I need to abstain on that because I know the, uh, uh, the people involved in this, Alan Pentek and his wife, and I need to abstain. Okay, so we're having a 610 and 618. We're pulling for a separate vote. <clears throat> Any other comment on the consent agenda? Okay, if we can uh, take uh, everything with the exception of 610 and 618. Roll call, please. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. And Bourne? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Now we will take uh, 610. <clears throat> which is the RC by the Special Committee on Risk Management recommending filing a claim in the amount of 17, well, approving payment in the amount of 1788.90. Any discussion? There is none. Roll call, please. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichuk? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Abstain. And Carlson? Aye. 14 ayes, one abstention. Motion carries. And 618, authorizing the appropriate city officials to enter into contract with Quash's construction for new facilities at Cleveland Veterans and Optimist Park. Under discussion? There is no roll call, please. Hammond? Abstain. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichuk? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. And Decker? Aye. 14 ayes, one abstention. Motion carries. Communications and petitions. 620 to be referred. Reports of Officers 2 by the City Plan Commission recommending filing communication from the Board President of the Wisconsin Naval Ship Association, also known as WINSA, requesting that the City relinquish its first right of refusal on the Alliant Energy property, 824 South A Street, and approving the request with the condition that WINSA closes on the property by July 15, 2011, as stated in their offer to purchase. City Plan Commission, Alderman Sampson. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I then move that the RO be accepted and placed on file. Second. We have a move to accept and file the RO under discussion. There is none. Roll call, please. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichuk? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. And Hammond? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. Uh, 622 is listed to be referred, but it will not be. 622 by the Board of Parks and Forestry recommending filing documents submitting an agreement between Community Bank and Trust and the Sheboygan Softball Association to award naming rights of the current park Wildwood Softball Complex to be named Community Bank and Trust Softball Fields from 2011 through the 2015 season and approving the request contingent on the staff and the SSA agreeing to terms. Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. I move to accept and adopt the report of committee. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and adopt. Under discussion? Under discussion, Mayor. Uh, I attended the uh, Board of Parks and Forestry as chairman of the uh, Public Works Committee, and uh, it, there's really no use to, re, uh, to refer it to Public Works, so that's why I made the motion to accept and adopt the report of committee. And that way, uh, as soon as the details are worked out with the uh, staff, uh, Community Bank will be able to make that donation to Sheboygan Softball Association and get the proper recognition with the signage. Thank you, Alderman Boren. If I may note that uh, Sheboygan 
uh, Community Bank. Uh, my wife is an employee, but I'd like to congratulate them anyway. They are donating, donating $5,000 a year uh, to the Sheboygan Softball Association to help, uh, help upgrade the park. So. Any further discussion? There is none. Roll call, please. Heideman? Aye. Cott? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichak? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Samson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Abstain. And Hannah? Aye. 14 ayes, one abstention. Motion carries. 623 through 629 to be referred. Resolutions introduced three, 630 by Alderman Boren informing the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources, the DNR, that the 2010 Compliance Maintenance Annual Report has been reviewed. Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, I'd like to suspend the rules on this one. Do we have a second, second. On, on suspending the rules? Is there anybody opposed to the rules being suspended or would like a, an explanation? There is not. The rules are suspended. Please continue. Uh, this report to the DNR is due on July 1st, and so time is of the absence. Uh, if anybody mm. wants any further explanation on the report, uh, <coughs> Director Bittner could give that if anybody from the council wants it. Otherwise, uh, just like to suspend the rules and then uh, make a motion that the resolution be put upon its passage. Okay. We have a motion and a second. Would anybody like to hear any details on this report? You read? No? Okay, roll call, please. Cuff? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. And Heideman? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries 631 by Alderman Hammond, approving the terms and conditions of the ground lease between the Redevelopment Authority and Office Service Company LLP for the former triple play property on South Pier. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I too would ask that we suspend the rules for this particular document. Second. We have a motion and a second to suspend the rules. Is there anybody that is opposed to suspending the rules or needs an explanation? There is not. The rules are suspended. Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. I have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Kittleson? Aye. Matichuk? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Epstein? Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. And Koth? Aye. 14 ayes, one abstention. Motion carries 632 by Alderpersons Hannah, Hammond, Boren, Kittleson, and Rinfleisch approving a substantial amendment to the fiscal year 2011 program year allocation for the Community Development Block Grant CDBG program. Alderman Hannah. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I, I also request that we uh, suspend the rules. Second. I, second. second. Motion and a second to suspend the rules. The reason for requesting the suspension rules is uh, we need to get this report back to HUD uh, within the next 30 days, so we need to move quickly on this. Right. Um, is there anybody opposed to the rules being suspended? There is not. Rules are suspended. Alderman Hanna, please continue. Thank you. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Second. I'd just like to make a, a, a public explanation. We received a decrease in our allocation from HUD of about 16 percent. Uh, the Strategic Fiscal uh, Planning Committee felt it was in the best interest to reduce the allocations to the various organizations in proportion to that reduction. Uh, it hurts everybody a little bit. Um, but everybody's getting most of what we had tried to commit to them. Thank you, Alderman Hanna. Is there any further discussion? There is no roll call, please. Matichek? Aye. <clears throat> Excuse me. Matichek? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. 
Belt. Aye. Boren. Aye. Carlson. Aye. Decker. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koth. Aye. And Kittleson. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 633 and 634 lie over. 635 to be referred. Report of Committee 5, 636, by Finance, recommending filing documents submitting a communication from Peter Mayer, member of the Board of Directors of Sheboygan Youth Sailing Club Incorporated, requesting that the utilities charges that were billed to the city since January of 2009 for the youth sailing facility be waived and recommends, recommends denying waiving the utility charges. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I move the re report of committee be, put, uh, be accepted and adopted. I'll get it out. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and adopt. Under discussion? There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Rinfleisch? Aye. <clears throat> Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? No. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? No. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? No. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. And Matichek? Nope. Excuse me? No. No. Ten, let's see, one, two, four. Eleven eyes, one, uh, four no's, I'm sorry. Motion carries. Reports of Committee 7, 637, by Law and Licensing, recommending filing ordinance repealing and recreating subsection 70-6A2 of the Municipal Code, so as to clarify the definition of an enclosed place in the statewide smoking ban and to eliminate Section 3 of General Ordinance Number 611011, as amended on May 2nd, 2011, which read, all existing facilities that properly applied for building permits are grandfathered in as they currently exist. Alderman Hanna, your pleasure. Thank you very much. This is the first step in moving towards uh, being in compliance and uh, being having parallel uh, ordinances to the state. So I move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. We have a motion to accept and adopt. <coughs> and place on file? Yeah. Yep. Uh, no, to ac accept and adopt to accept file it. We have a motion, we had a second. Joey Under discussion, Alderman Boren. <coughs> Thank you, Mayor Ryan. Uh, did, I was wondering if the city discussed with some of the eight establishments that were found not to be in compliance if going to the state regulations is gonna put some or all of those in compliance. I imagine we'll put some of them in, uh, but they're, the majority of them are still technically out of compliance, uh, so they need to move forward and get in compliance with the state law. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Boren and Hannah. President Rinfleisch. Uh, thank you. Uh, so this question has come up uh, to me a lot as well. I just want to re reiterate the fact that the city is out of the business of dictating what's legal and what's not legal. It's going to be between the tavern owners, uh, their attorneys, if someone so claims that against the state law that it's not in compliance. So uh, we're, just so people are clear that we're not deciding who, who's in compliance or not. We're ch changing our law to match the state law, and then you know, those interested parties can, can dictate that point in time. So nothing's being grandfathered in. Uh, what it is simply is we're following the state law. Thank you, President Rinfleisch. Any further discussion? There is no further discussion. Roll call, please. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. And Rinfleisch? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries uh, six dash forty, which is out of order and noted so, and probably for a reason. By finance, recommending filing documents creating subsection one twenty two dash ninety eight e of the municipal code relating to deferral of a portion of certain second side water main assessments for single family residential corner lots in an SR five zoning district. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You're, you are correct. There will be a, another document coming forth in a couple minutes. 
Um, so for now, I'll just uh, move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and adopt. Under discussion? There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? No. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. And Samson? Aye. 14 ayes, one no. <laughs> Motion carries. Six reports of committees eight, 638 by finance, recommending authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2011 budget, establishing revenue and appropriation for State of Wisconsin Department of Revenue grant for a conservation plan for the Shukert property. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I uh, move that the report of committee be accepted and adopted and the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage. If I may chime in on this one just a bit, this is a $40,000 grant uh, offered to us by the DNR. We've been working with them on the river dredging uh, in order to incorporate the health of the Willow Creek on the Shukert property and the water flowing off the Shukert property into the Sheboygan River. So this is something that we came across in our discussions with the DNR over the river dredging, and it's a great thing because this is a $40,000 grant that the city would have had to pay for ourselves if it didn't come from the DNR. Alderman Hammond. Thank you. I think the other thing to add to that is that um, because of the sensitivity of that area, it gets the DNR involved right away. So the plan we put together makes a lot of sense and is con uh, uh, green, if you will. Exactly. Thank you, Alderman Hammond. Any further discussion? There is none. Roll call, please. Vanderweel. Aye. Versi. Aye. Belt. Aye. Boren. Aye. Carlson. Aye. Decker. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Cox. <coughs> Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Matichuk. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Sampson. Aye. And Van Akron. Aye. Fifteen ayes. Motion carries, 639 by finance, recommending authorizing execution of the buyout provision in the Renewable Electrical Generation Agreement with Wisconsin Power and Light Company. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I uh, move the report of committee be accepted and adopted and the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. There is none. Roll call, please. Percy. Aye. Belt. Aye. Boren. Aye. Carlson. Aye. Decker. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koth. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Matichek. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Sampson. Aye. Van Akron. Aye. And Vanderweel. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. And now the follow up to 640, 641. <laughs> By finance, recommending creating subsection 122-98E of the municipal code relating to deferral of a portion of certain second side water main special assessments for single family residential corner lots in an SR5 zoning district and passing the attached substitute of the substitute ordinance. Alderman Hammond. I'm gonna to attempt to get through this without screwing it up. Um, I move the report of committee be accepted and adopted and the substitute of the substitute ordinance be put upon its passage. Well Second. done, well done. Second. Second. <laughs> Under discussion. There is none. Oh, Alderman Kittleson, please. Thank you, Mayor. I guess I, I want to hear a little bit more. Just reiterate uh, <coughs> Alderman Hammond, if, if he could, as to what we're doing here. Sure. Thank you. Please, Alderman Hammond. Um, right now, the city ordinance indicates for water sewer mains and uh, sanitary sewers that if you live on a corner lot, it'd be nice to have a little board here, but if you live on a corner lot um, and they're running new lines along the side of your house, you get a credit for 120 feet of the property you currently own. Um, all we're simply doing is bumping that up to, um, I believe, 220 feet. Um, again, only, pr only for single family residential and um, two family residential, I believe is what the SR5 stands for. So, you know, commercial and, um, larger comp, uh, apartment complexes would not be included in this. Um, and again, this only really pertains to new, so it's gonna be more pertaining to the far north side and the far south side where there's new development going on and they're running water mains um, and sewers. For people that live in the city and already have sewers on both sides, 
um, that's already been, if there's any maintenance or repairs, that's already included. You don't have to repay for that. So this really only applies to people that live on the outlying area. So we're just expanding the credit to take into account that subdivisions are larger and lots are a little bit larger now as well. So. Thank you, Thank you, Alderman Hanna. Thank you. Hammond, rather. Hammond. Any further discussion? If there is none, roll call, please. Bell? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hanna? Aye. Heideman? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manachek? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. And Versi? Aye. 14 <coughs> ayes. Motion carries. Matters laid over 11, 5-40. Resolution number 21-11-12 by Alderman Hammond approving the terms and conditions of the ground lease between the Redevelopment Authority and the Sheboygan County Chamber of Commerce. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Warren. Aye. Carlson. Aye. Decker. Aye. Hammond. Aye. Hannah. Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koth. Aye. Kittleson. Aye. Manichuk. Aye. Rinfleisch. Aye. Sampson. Aye. Van Akron. Aye. Vanderweel. Aye. Versi. Aye. And Belt. Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 541, resolution number 221112 by Alderman, Alderman Hammond, Manichuk, and Van Akron authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2011 budget, establishing advance for professional services to establish TIF funds 14 and 15, advance to be repaid with future increments. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. second. We have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. Um, just as a, a little bit of clarification, you know, we've already incurred some professional expenses in order to set up these TIFs. And so this money is just going to pay those until the developments are done and increment starts coming in. So when, the, when the increment comes in, the city gets refunded out of the TIF. <clears throat> Any further discussion? There is none. Roll call, please. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hanna? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichak? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. And Boren? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 542, resolution number 231112 by Alder Persons Hammond, Matichek, and Van Akron, authorizing the city of Sheboygan to enter into a contract for audio visual equipment for the council. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage under discussion. There's no discussion. Roll call, please. So oh, we have a late rigor in her. Yeah. President Rinfleisch. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, the uh, resolution is to provide the equipment. Uh, we had an extensive conversation about what we'd like to see and how we'd like to see it and the various steps. Uh, that's coming yet. This is that we're just simply beginning the first step of actually getting the equipment that we can actually project the, the items there. So for those that have the questions about is this going to do everything that we've, we've asked about, talked about in, in the Committee of the Whole, no, not yet, but we have to do the first thing and get the equipment in. Thank you. Thank you, President Rinfleisch. Any further discussion? There's no further discussion. Roll call, please. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Huff? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichuk? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. And Carlson? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries. 543, resolution number 241112 by Alder Persons, Hammond, Matichek, and Van Akron, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2011 budget, establishing appropriation for audiovisual equipment for the Common Council Chambers. Once again, Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. I have a motion and a second to put the resolution upon its passage. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. This is, again, just the funding to um, put in place the audiovisual equipment. Obviously, as we develop and streamline this um, you know, software, those types of things may be forthcoming. Thank you, Alderman Hammond. Any further discussion? There's no further discussion. Roll call, please. Hammond. Aye. Hannah. 
Aye. Heidemann. Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Manachuk? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. <clears throat> Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. And Decker? Aye. 15 ayes. Motion carries, 557, General Ordinance Number 111112 by Alderperson Kittleson, creating subsection 2-112A4 of the Municipal Code relating to times of common council meetings, so as to set the time for the July 5th, 2011 council, common council meeting at 5.30 p.m. Alderperson Kittleson. Thank you, Mayor, thank you. Um, I'd ask that this ordinance, just to change the time for July 5th, this one time to 5.30, be put upon its passage. Second. We have a motion and a second to change the July 5th meeting time to 5.30 p.m. Under discussion. And under discussion, Council, as uh, you heard from the Mayor, our German visitors will be here. Uh, we will be going out to dinner afterwards, so uh, we'd like them to be here, have the Council meeting early so that we can uh, um, you know, visit with them and enjoy the rest of the evening with them. And you've Thank all got your invites on your desk to help Correct. to sway the vote here, so that's a joke. Any further discussion? There is none. Roll call, please. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichuk? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. Versi? Aye. Thank you. Felt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? And Hammond? Aye. Oh, boy. <laughs> 15 ayes. Motion carries. We have one other matter authorized by law, I believe. Attorney McLean? A few. Oh, we have more than one. <coughs> I've got the 642 communication from Gloria Carstead requesting that some of the signs in front of her house be moved as she is having difficulty cutting the grass around them. That will be referred to public protection and safety. 643 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2012 and June 30, 2013. To law and licensing. And 6-44 is an RO by the city clerk submitting communication from Ronald Savella requesting a waiver from the sex offender restrictions. And that will go to public protection and safety. Alderman, you will have that tomorrow morning. Okay. The 44. That's handwritten up here right now, so you'll have it. Okay, uh, we are not going to adjourn at this point. We are going to be moving into closed session. Uh, closed session should be short, but we will not be coming back on the air after closed session. I believe that uh, we normally will take about a five to seven minute recess here to clear the council chambers and uh, get the audio visual equipment turned off. So thank you, everybody. We have a, may we have a motion to go into closed session, President Rinfleisch. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to convene in closed session under the exemption provided in Section 1985-1E of Wisconsin statutes for the purpose of deliberating the purchase of public property for competitive and bargaining reasons require a closed session. Second. Second. We have a motion and a second to go into closed session under discussion. There is no discussion. Roll call, please. Belt? Aye. Boren? Aye. Carlson? Aye. Decker? Aye. Hammond? Aye. Hannah? Aye. Heidemann? Aye. Koth? Aye. Kittleson? Aye. Matichek? Aye. Rinfleisch? Aye. Sampson? Aye. Van Akron? Aye. Vanderweel? Aye. And Versi? Aye. Thank you. 15 ayes. Okay, five minutes.